नाउ स्टूडेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन पॉइंट टू एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू गिव आंसर ऑफ सम क्वेश्चन सो एक्चुअली इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टोटल फाइव पार्ट ए बी सी डी ई एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट वन बाई वन सो इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट पार्ट नंबर ए सो इन पार्ट नंबर ए इट इज गिवन टू यू वी हैव टू एक्सप्लेन वाई क्लियर नंबर वन द एंगल ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट ऑफ मर्करी विद ग्लास इज ऑप्ट्यूज वाइल दैट ऑफ वाटर विद ग्लास इज एक्यूट क्लियर सो नाउ डी स्टूडेंट डेफिनेटली यू हैव लिसन अबाउट टू टर्म्स कोहेसिव फोर्स एंड एडेसिव फोर्स क्लियर सो कोहेसिव फोर्स इज वॉट वी कैन सी फोर्स दैट इज एक्टिंग बिटवीन सेम टाइप ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल वी कैन सी दैट इज कोहेसिव फोर्स एंड एडेसिव फोर्स मीन्स वी कैन सी दैट फोर्स दिस इज एक्टिंग बिटवीन टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल क्लियर सो इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट पार्ट नंबर ए so i can say let's suppose i am taking here and uh, let's suppose this is a capillary tube for example i am taking this is capillary tube clear and if i am talking about mercury with glass so let's suppose i fill here mercury so definitely we will find here the uh, shape of this mercury meniscus it should be like this clear but if i am talking about uh, if i am talking about we can say if i am talking about water on a glass so this surface should be like this this meniscus will be like this clear to you so now why this is happening this is very very important now we can say actually between this mercury this is mercury and this is for water so if you are talking about mercury and glass definitely we can say here whatever forces that is acting i can say they are the adhesive force clear and we can say between mercury molecules we have here cohesive force clear so in mercury and glass combination we can see cohesive force is more cohesive force cohesive force is more compared to adhesive force cohesive force is more compared to adhesive force clear so we can say when cohesive force is more definitely all molecules of a mercury it wants to come at the middle because we can see force between mercury molecules is more compared to force between mercury and glass clear that's why we can say here we will find a uh, angle angle of contact that is obtuse clear or you can also say how can we decide here angle of contact so now we can say like this uh let's suppose uh, how can we decide actually first of all at the point of contact we draw here a tangent clear so at the point of contact we draw here a tangent like this number 1 clear and we also draw a tangent that is tangential to this glass surface like this clear or we can say like this now we can say uh, the angle between this one the angle between this one it actually decides angle between uh, this is a obtuse angle or acute angle so we can say definitely you can say this theta this theta is greater than 90 degree so we can say this is obtuse angle clear to everyone yes but if i am talking about water clear so in a water case now we can see you can see uh actually here we also have cohesive force and adhesive force so in a water and the glass contact we can say adhesive force is more compared to cohesive force that's why this water always wants to spread on a glass clear so in this situation we will find <coughs> adhesive force greater than cohesive force adhesive force is greater than cohesive force clear so now we can see how can we draw here angle of contact so first i am drawing here i am drawing here a tangent so this is a tangent clear and i am also drawing here one tangent that is along this glass so i can say this angle is known as angle of contact clear this angle is known as angle of contact and definitely we can say here we are getting theta this value we have less than 90 degree clear this theta we are getting less than 90 degree and here we are getting theta this one is greater than 90 degree clear to everyone so now we can see here uh, in this situation we find acute angle the, here we will find obtuse angle clear to everyone so conclusion of this question is here when cohesive force is more compared to adhesive force at the time you will find this type of meniscus as well as we can say here you will find angle of contact obtuse clear but if i am talking about when adhesive force is more than cohesive force in this case we find acute angle as well as you can see here adhesive force is more compared to 
cohesive force clear to everyone so this is all about part number a of this question clear yes now now we are going to discuss part number b and in this question it is given to you water on a clean glass surface water on a clean glass surface tends to spread out while mercury on same surface tends to form drops definitely again we are having same answer because between water and uh, glass between water and glass we can say cohesive force is act, uh, that is adhesive force is acting so definitely in water and glass adhesive force is more compared to cohesive force clear that's why we can say definitely water will spread out on the glass layer but what will happen with mercury so if we are talking about mercury so on the mercury molecule because adhesive force is less compared to cohesive force so definitely mercury molecules always wants to form a droplet so this is answer of part number b clear to everyone done now if we are talking about part number c so in part number c it is given to you surface tension of a liquid is independent of area of a surface so first of all let us try to understand how uh, in for what vector or how can we define value of surface tension clear so let's suppose i am taking here a top view of any uh, container clear so let's suppose i am drawing like this this is a top view of a container clear and let's suppose uh, we can see here we have a liquid also clear this one this is a top view of a container let's suppose we have a cylindrical container and i am observing from top clear so this is a top view let's suppose i i am drawing here an imaginary line clear so this imaginary line i am drawing like this clear now now we can say how can we define here surface tension so definitely on this line a force that is acting perpendicular on this line we can say a force this is acting perpendicular to this line like this clear so if i am saying this value we have length l clear and a force f is acting like this so surface tension is defined as s equal to f by l clear so force acting per unit length of this imaginary line this is this is known as surface tension so from here you can see surface tension depends on our nature of a liquid it also depends on a temperature clear but it it is independent of a area clear so now we have to find like this surface tension of a liquid is independent of area definitely and you can prove like this clear because here we we are not getting any term related to area clear so uh, this is all about part number c now if i am talking about part number d so in part number d it is given water with detergent dissolved in in it it should have small angle of contact clear so actually we know if you know formula of capillary rise listen carefully if you know formula of capillary rise this is given by 2 rho cos theta divide by uh, we can see this is given by just a minute if i am talking about capillary rise if i am talking about capillary rise this is given by 2 clear and we can see uh, this is rho g r and we can say this is 2s cos of theta clear here you can see this s is what s is a surface tension theta is a angle of contact and we can say rho is a density g is acceleration due to gravity and r is what r is what clear r is we can say this is the radius of capillary tube clear so now we can see if we are talking about small angle of contact it means we are saying that this cos theta value is less it means we are talking about 0 degree 10 degree 15 degree 30 degree clear when theta value is small at the time definitely we can say this cos theta value will be more yes or no because we know cos 0 equal to what 1 and cos 30 this is equal to root 3 by 2 so definitely we can say as theta decreases the value of cos theta increases value of cos theta increases that means we can say value of h increases clear so now we can say what is the purpose of detergent purpose of detergent is what to decrease surface tension as well as we can say so that it may move to a certain height so height increases or we can say height of a liquid column increases so what will happen actually this will remove that from that uh, particular hole clear so now we can see it is very clear to us if theta is less cos theta is more and we can see height of a liquid column or the detergent it will be more and definitely uh, we can see it can remove that more effectively clear so this is all about part number d clear now 
if I am talking about part number A, clear? So in part number A, it is given to you a drop of liquid under no external force is always spherical in shape, clear? So actually we know if we are talking about a drop, a liquid drop, clear? And we are assuming uh, there is no any external force is acting. So definitely we can say the shape of that spherical drop, uh, the shape of the, any drop, it is due to surface tension only, clear? And what is the property of a surface tension? Property of surface tension we have that it always tends to minimize its surface area, clear? So for a given volume, if no external force is acting at the time, the sphere, we can say sphere is having minimum surface area, clear? Again I am saying what is, uh, what is important point here? For a given volume, sphere, it is having minimum surface area, clear? That's why we can say that a drop of liquid under no external force, we always find in a spherical in shape, clear? So this is all about this question.